like there was this fundraiser in 2010 for Volunteers of America. And I said, okay, I approached, you know, the, the lead director, Lady and I said, you know, it'd be a really good idea to try to auction off some art, but kind of do it differently. Like, do it to where, like, I'm actually drawing it so they can see the development of it, and then you can sell it. And, you know, your fundraiser you can do, you know, what it wants. And uh, so while I was doing the, the, the art for the, the fundraiser, like, the band they hired started playing, and I kind of started falling into their groove. And that, that sort of magic, the magic happened. And Bruce Plouch, who's with um, <coughs> Losers Reunion, was there. He works for Volunteers of America, and actually saw the, the sync and the harmony happen. And so then that's when I started doing shows with Losers Reunion. So and then from there it was just uh, like there's really no one to look at or to learn from. It's like, you know, when you go up there and people, they either have this antagonistic thought about, oh, I don't know, about art and a band, or they're, they're really like, oh, cool, what is that? You know, so it's, you get both sides. But um, it's, 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 an, it's definitely, uh, when you step up there and do art, you have to please yourself as an artist but also as like a performance artist. Like, the evolution of the drawing has to be just as engaging as something I could walk away with the final product and say that was good. You know, so you, you can't really be boring, but you want a good product. So there's, you gotta get a good mix. I kept it on the low, and the way, I kinda go by the artist, and the way that happened was, you know, I would set up with the bands, and It'd be, who are you? And I'd be like, Ricky, Ricky Kennedy. Or who? I'd say, the artist, oh, I'm set up over there, you know? So, and I kind of wanted to keep it general and keep it vague because I wasn't sure how it would do, like how it would fare. And the better response I got, the more, you know, I got a little Facebook page and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, the direction, I just kind of let it go and I had, a, you know, the, the good responses and I kept playing and doing shows and, you know, evolving the, the techniques and the medium to be as fast and to keep pace so that the art and the music sync. You know, you really want to keep that flow and, and go off of each other. And I would say. You know, I would say, like, the core element of what I do is to do art express it in a way that is not only, you know, creates an experience, and I, you know, I keep bringing music in because it is a performance art with music, music's 50% of it, but you're allowed, you know, the, the setting and the format to express yourself independently, to express your ideas, to use colors with music, to use colors, to use line with rhythm to, you know, uh, invoke this style that's in sync with another arts art form, which is music, and to have it, you know, come across as an artistic slash musical experience that, you know, allows for people to walk away with, you know, a little bit more introspection than I think you would get at a normal musical concert when you combine the two. And I think the response is, you know, as a force, it's been really good. And, you know, it pushes me as an artist to do well, but it also pushes me to be conscious of subject matter and importance and relevance to what I do as an art. And to take, you know, the music and musicians as artists just as well as the visual artists and really, you know, learn from it all and then just, you know, just really get after it on stage. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, go out there and let loose, and then it's fun.